continuing from my last lesson where i have shown you how to create a facebook app you know, get the app and the secret key then you know, configure the laravel's services.php file and later on we included the package set up our environment files and yeah that was what we had done in our previous lesson but in this what i will do is jump into the development we will use this button to log in to our application and to do that the first thing which we will need to do is go to our routes file in my case it will be wall dash routes okay and then in that i'll create two urls to route gets but we need to make sure they are in a group with a middleware web it is very important that they are inside the web middleware so i'll do something like this and then the typical format so first one is auth facebook okay everything is loading fine and the second one copy this okay this will be different url call back and we need to change the name okay uh, i can get rid of the array syntax because i'm going to use only one middleware so later on if i want i can add it now the functions so yeah first is this and i don't have any parameters in this and then the second function will be uh, let's call it handle the provider callback cool so these are the two functions which will help us you know uh, make the user login now uh, this is the url where i will get a token from facebook so what i can do is socialite driver that will be facebook you know the one which we had set in the settings.php so and i'll do redirect okay let me see if i'm i will put the import thing use sorry uh, and yeah so i'll copy this url instead of login we'll just put this and you can see i'm getting code here um onto the callback so this is where you know the redirect to provider is working it is getting the access token and sending it to handle provide uh, provider callback okay so here what I will get is the user object from Facebook because we are getting an access token from Facebook. So I'll say dollar user equals socialite driver will be Facebook and we will pull the user. Okay. So if I die and dump the user object, go back to the URL. You can see this is the access token with my Facebook user object, my ID, my email address and my profile image as well. You can get the entire user object. Now, uh, once we get the user object, we need to check whether this user exists in our database or not because we need to log him in and for that we have to make sure he has an account. So we'll do check user which will basically check if the user exists otherwise it will create a new user and give us the user back okay now we can do this user because i am already importing user repository 
so this repository and then I'll say find or create social user okay I'll use the same function so I'll pass first the type of user then the user ID which is the social ID okay and then once that is done I'll pass the dollar user the entire user object now we need to add that function in our repository as well as our eloquent implementation so I'll copy this okay, first in our interface add that function name which means it should be implemented in eloquent user as well so I'll add that function okay um, oh I forgot I need to add those parameters because this function will get three parameters right so the interface will define that this function has three parameters one is type then the ID and the user object I'll copy this save this file close and here also I'll pass the same three and now we are ready to write the implementation also dollar user I can write this model you know where where conditions where I'll check for the type and the user ID let me first write down the conditions so in our case the type is Facebook and the social ID which is in a column we have added in our last tutorial to store the social ID we'll check that as well and just to be you know clear the social id is the facebook id which we are getting so yeah the condition is very simple if we are getting a dollar user then we return that okay otherwise if the type is facebook which in our case is the current one I will say dollar user is equal to this create let's say Facebook user and I'll pass the user object okay so it's a private function but first let me say that I'll return the same user okay with that done private function create Facebook user so yeah here I'm getting the user object which Facebook is providing me and I just need to create a user out of it but the one thing which I need to mention is many times what happens is many of the things on Facebook are not set due to privacy reasons for example maybe your email address is not there or maybe you know, the profile picture is not there so it is very important that we check whether those things are set or not so I'll do something like user object name yeah. if it is set then we use that otherwise blank Priyanka and the email same thing okay let me pull the original URL instead of small one and this one is the ID and one thing is this will come always because this is the account ID and we need to get this otherwise our conditions won't work and yeah type I will hard code to Facebook with that done I will return the created user so far so good and 
yeah as you can see there are only two users right now in my database now go to the url again okay um so what is the problem okay so i need to pass a password as well so i'll change that abstract provider oh yes i have sent a wrong object again also so yeah, small mistakes which i made I'll fix those quickly and the logger okay so I'll, I'll get back to that but you can see i have created the user user is ready because uh, you can see i have a new entry with the facebook user type the you know, url is coming the after url yeah this is me with my son and so yeah things are coming properly but the logger has a error because this is part of my wall script if you don't want to you know go through this you can skip this part but it's a debugging thing on my particular wall script application so i'm creating events and in that event uh, let me pull up the listener not the event class go to wall uh, listeners user event subscriber yes this is the one in here you know when a user is created um firing an event that a user has been created and that event is you know kind of logging a message that requires what do you say uh, authenticated user id okay here but but the problem is you know, we have just created the user we don't have him logged in so how can we get this auth user so we'll have to add some conditions Nine forty one, right? Yeah. So, uh, sorry. I'll do what we can is the guest. I'll check for guest, and if the user is a guest, then user ID will be hard coded to one. And what I'll do is I'll append something as a system generated message, so that you know the admin can differentiate from the system generated messages and his own messages okay so yeah when it's a guest user it will additionally have system event here my user id will be equals to this because now he is already logged in he is not a guest and yeah save this let me delete the user Okay, I'll go here and I'll set the URL in my login. Where is my login? Okay, here is my Facebook. Uh, yeah. So I'll do route and I'll pass the name of the route so that it's a link. This is the name. Okay, uh, refresh logger container problem oh i know i think i have had this problem previously as well just a second logger class where is the logger class so in my logger class i think what must have happened is yeah see so the comma was not i mean semicolon was not there a syntax error fails to load the class okay now i'll click on the button all right things are happening so i think uh, um eloquent mail oh okay so the user has been created again it's just a setting problem where you know my application sends an email uh, when a user is created but the things are not set up right now so i have to deactivate that but you know, just to make sure you know i have status equals one it i had missed that if status is zero then uh, it it will create a problem so 
So I'll save this. You know, and our user controller. Once we get the user, we can you know, kind of log in this particular user, the check user, and then we can redirect him back. So, so I'll pass the check user. I'll say true so that we can remember him. I have the auth class already imported, and yeah, and then I will return redirect him to the dashboard and the last thing I will change the settings uh, send password through email so you know I don't have any password so I'll fix that later on but yeah um, I mean for users now who are you know, logging in through Facebook they don't have any password so yeah I'll delete that come back to my login screen click it should validate create a user and take me to the dashboard which it does so as you can see this Facebook login is working and if we go to the database my entry is there in a row number 15 with everything corrected status is also one but the password is empty so just to you know assure that no one can log in with the gmail or oh sorry the facebook email address i'll just use that same email address okay which is my gmail email id and with blank password okay i have validation on password so let me just disable the javascript first settings where was it where was it uh, no, this is JavaScript source map. That is different. Okay, disable JavaScript. So yeah, with this, okay, my form is being submitted, and you can see the username and password doesn't match, which means if the password field is blank, no one can you know, misuse and log into the application. Okay, so yeah, that's about it. If you like the video, do click on the thumbs up icon. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel.